Well, on this panel, I'm going to uh, flutter tip the musician. I've already laid it out. I want a really thin script on top, and I'll have a condensed, slightly condensed letter, uh, just block letter on the bottom. With this little brush, I like to uh, work it like a pinstriping brush. You can see I have my middle finger up against my thumb, middle finger of my left hand up against the thumb of my right hand. It gives me a lot of stability, and I s learned this from a uh, pinstriper up, up here named Bill Sylvester, and it is, seems to be pretty common. Uh, it locks your arm in a triangle between your hands and your your shoulders and gives you a lot of stability. Uh, when I paint without a mall stick, it's the grip I use. So here I'm going off of this little panel edge and trying to keep the continuity. Obviously here I'm doing a voiceover because I was just lettering and trying out this new camera angle, which you'll find has some limitations. <laughs> I end up recording the top of my head and uh, have to cut out the second word quite a bit. So Now, my, my paint's a little thick. Uh, I do remember that. It, sometimes it takes a little while right here to uh, get over these uh, obstacles. Upcoming is my first letter where I can really get the idea of the thickness of my uh, stroke. And you see my, obviously my hat getting in the way. Notice that my stroke of my T is thinner than my I. Can't have that, so I'm beefing it up just a mil. And on this letter, I'm going to square it off uh, horizontally. That little tail that I just put on. You see Glenn Weisberger do uh, do that. He puts tails on some of the letters that uh, don't have any letter to the left of them. It it bites into the negative space and and uh, can't really describe the phenomenon, but it. It keeps that negative space from being too strong of a straight line. This is a brush that's about, uh, it's a graduated length brush. It's about a number four and uh, it wants to draw down to a pretty fine point tip. On this stroke here, I want to be under the exit stroke of the eye. All right, after let, sh filming the back of my hat, we're on to this, coming up on the S, which I almost get a perfect terminal. Watching that counter develop, and now I'm creating the other counter. Yeah, I emphasize when I letter that we're lettering really the neg we're creating the negative space. That's what really creates the letter.
the curved letters tend to be a little less uh, thick and than the um, upright ones just because of, by the way the paint comes out of the brush so I'm fattening up that spine of the S to match what I have in the U I, when I'm lettering without tape I start below the top line work that paint out of the brush on the stroke and when you make that little tail at the bottom like what's happening here as the tail goes to the right your brush really sharpens up and you can do the finish finish strokes uh, with a dry brush with pointed hairs so like on the S I start at the top of the curve on the C I get the wrong kind of flick right out to start you can't really see it in the video but it comes down and then back Probably could have just left it, but I don't want to wipe it off here with the nose oil straight up. And the brush is pretty dry and chiseled at this point, and I just luck out and get a pretty good terminal right there. I end up coming. I'm getting a pretty good C really, but I extend this bottom leg of the C a little too far, a little too much continuity in that curve. Just catching that outside edge there with the edge of the edge of the brush hairs. And uh, if it just said music, it'd be all right. You wouldn't be able to tell that the, that bottom leg was out a little bit further. But since it's going to say musician, the eye is going to uh, the eye is going to show us that I actually messed up a little bit. But you know what? I really don't care. anymore those little things like that that happen in hand lettering um, I remember before vinyl computers I, I really tried to letter like like type and I still try it but I, I'm not as anal about the uh, corrections as I used to be because it looks hand lettered and I'm and uh, I don't mind being unapologetic about that and I if your rhythm is good and your strokes are good the little things really don't matter that much I remember the art director on the movie the frozen ground told me that I was really nervous about getting our artwork just right and he goes you know he goes if the director and the actors do their job he says our jobs really aren't that important <laughs> and I thought, Shit, that's uh that's putting it in perspective that a could be a little wide but i'll tell you i am a little bit it doesn't happen often, but I'm a little bit off my layout in that uh, I have more room than anticipated. And so I'm leaving this A about as wide as I originally sketched it out. It doesn't quite go with the U. But it's going to work with the end coming up. <laughs> and then this end that I got uh, coming up, I am going to letter it like uh, John Downer recommends with the two vertical strokes first. 
One reason is I want to end exactly where I want to end. Uh, and the way I normally letter it in is I'll do the diagonal stroke first. I'll do this. I'll just work through the letter from left to right. And I'm we're kind of running out of room for my mall stick here. I, I should have put it down, really. Oops. But I'm not switching horses in the middle of the stream. And uh, here we go. It's kind of truncating my stroke ability there. When I do vertical strokes, you can see I have one finger over the top of the brush. When I do the bottom strokes and the rounds, I go to, uh, let's see if I do it. I switch between that grip right there, I guess you could call it a pencil grip, and this upcoming three finger grip right there. I switch between those pretty quick. Uh, I don't even think about it. But those two grips both have different pluses and minuses. And if this was a commercial job, I would put tape on the side, on the sign. But this is somewhat of an artistic piece, and I want all the pieces to be hand done and preferably hand sketched out too. So that's it for a musician. Hope you learned something. You can see here that I finished it off with a little black shade. I think it looks pretty cool.